Now the next technique we'll be looking at is fire lighting using the flint and steel method. Now we have here a piece of flint, and this is a traditionally made steel. Cut myself a slice of time when the wind blows, when the river meets the sea. Now if the two are struck together, especially finding a sharp point on the flint, you create these sparks. Now the key to fire lighting using the flint and steel method is to have suitable tinder. In this case we're using char cloth, which is prepared by burning a piece of cotton, in this case an old shirt, inside a tin box. So we put it inside a small tin box, make a tiny hole in the top to allow some smoke out, and then put it into a fire and you keep an eye on it as it burns and you'll have a thick stream of white smoke coming out of the top of the tin. When that smoke stops coming out or turns to a very light bluish tinge, that's the time you can take the tin out of the fire, allow it to cool down and when you open the tin you'll have this stuff, char cloth. Now char cloth was, is so fine it'll catch the lightest of sparks so we should have no trouble at all getting these sparks to catch onto it. So what I do is hold the char cloth just above the piece of flint and that allows the sparks to go upwards and into the char cloth. Now we've already caught a small spark here. I'm just going to make sure we've got a couple more. That's fine. Can you see that? Now that's an extremely hot temperature so we should have no trouble at all allowing that to ignite the dry, dry straw I have here. Wrap it up 